Hey guys, it's Darren W. Carter here, and today we're doing some pizza on the pit barrel cooker. Uh, done it before, it's a great thing. The pit barrel cooker is great for pizza, but we're going to make two. I'm going to make a sort of light veggie one. It's going to have chicken on it though, and then uh, pepperoni and sausage, you know, the regular. Um, but the other one will have some chicken, some spinach. It's going to be a garlic base instead of a pasta, instead of a, a tomato base. And uh, hopefully it turned out. So let's uh, get into the kitchen, go out to the pit barrel, and let's make this. All right, let's get into making this pizza dough. Um, actually, I got this uh, recipe from um, a young lady, her Instagram and TikTok name is Beer Can Chick. So uh, she has some great recipes, but I found this to be a quick and easy dough for pizza. And it makes about two, two, um, two pizza pies. So that's what we're gonna be making tonight. So let's get into this. I got four cups of bread flour here. I actually went to the store and got bread flour. Uh, the last time I did it, I just used regular flour, all purpose, so I kind of want to see the difference now. So, we got the bread flour in here, and uh, we're going to have, we got some warm water, and we're going to dissolve into that, let me see what we got. We're going to dissolve into that some yeast, uh, four teaspoons of yeast, four teaspoons of sugar, two teaspoons of salt, and we're gonna dissolve it in here. So here's the yeast, the four teaspoons of yeast. And this is the four teaspoons of sugar. As they say, a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. Okay, anybody that's my age will <laughs> understand that. And here's some salt. Now I use kosher salt, but kind of use kind of kosher salt for everything. So that's kind of how that was. I don't have my spoon here, so I'm just trying to dissolve this in here. And after we fold this in, uh, we're going to let it rest at least 30 minutes or until it grows half the size of the ball that I have it in here. And one thing that I have forgotten is the olive oil that I'm going to need because you're going to put oil over it so it won't get as sticky as it grows. So let me get that real quick. I got my flour in here. And at this point, I'm wearing gloves, not because, you know, I, the last time I did it was so sticky. So I was like, let me try to wear gloves and maybe not have that happen this time. So let's see. All right, so this is dissolved and I'm pouring this in the middle. I kind of separated it and I'm pouring it in the middle. And using these grubbies of mine, as my wife calls them, we're just gonna fold this, fold this into the wet. And I don't know if you can see it too much, but you should be able to see now that it's kind of come and getting into some type of consistency. The light may not be right for me, so sorry if you don't see it. But trust me, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. And it's still sticky. Not as bad as last time, though, I have to admit. Not as bad as last time. Actually, I kind of like this where it is. Make sure you get all the flour. All right. So you can kind of see it's becoming a ball at this moment in time. I think I've got it enough. All right. Nice little ball. No mess, better than last time. So with that, I have the ball in here and just kind of put it out there. I'm putting olive oil kind of on top and around the sides. And that's it. This is it, okay? I'm gonna cover this for about a half an hour um, or at least to a double this size then I'll cut it in half 
and make the pizzas. So I don't know, you see that I tell you what I'm making? I don't know. But I'm going to fire up the grill a little bit because I have some grilled chicken to put on there because that's going to go on the pizza as well. All right, see you in a minute. All right, let's get this first pizza taken care of. As you can see, this definitely grew in size. So I'm going to take half of it, act like I know how to make a pizza round though, and then we'll go from here. So let's see. First, yeah, a little sprinkle flour. And there we go. It's about half. I am not a professional, nor do I play one on TV. So at this point, I just want to get it rolled out and flattened enough for the pizza. Of course, to do that, a rolling pin would be nice. All right. I do have a pizza stone, but I wanted to try this. Just got this from the grocery store. So we'll see how that works. Now this one I'm about to make is the one with chicken. So <clears throat> I have some chicken. And it's actually chicken thigh, boneless skinless chicken thigh. Got that. I have some peppers and I also have some spinach. So this one is going to be used and if you all see a baby that comes through here, that's because she just moved her her uh, her playpen out the way. So if you hear the baby, it's okay. All right. So this is uh, garlic butter, actually roasted garlic butter that I made. I may make a video on that, how to do that at some point. That is going to be my base. The baby actually moved the playpen, y'all. She's one, but she moved the playpen. Okay. <laughs> and I will put some mozzarella on here. One thing, I don't profess to be, you know, the professional and I always got the professional hookup. I am a barbecue enthusiast who cooks from home. So you get my life. You get my life here. All right. Some would say this is too much. I say it's not enough. So there you go. All right. No, what the heck? It's a whole bag. Come on. Let's get it in. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right. Let's throw some of this spinach down. This is going to be a heavy pizza, which I love the pizza to be heavy like that. I do. I don't really do. And something about making your own. You know, it doesn't have that store-bought look. That it's, it's imperfect, you know. It just makes it so much better. Here is the color, the splash of 
the peppers. Now, all this is pre-cooked a little. The peppers, of course, the spinach. And it will finish cooking when I'm grilling. And the best part, the chicken, which I seasoned with my very own um, rub, actually. Okay. Put a shot. <laughs> All right, so here's the pizza. Okay, look. I mean, if we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it, right? Here's the pizza. I'm about to take this out to the pit barrel. So follow me there and I'll see you there in a minute. And once this one is on the pit barrel, I didn't want to fire up my other one. So once this is done, I'll just make the next one, which is just gonna be a pepperoni one. So simple and clean. All right, see you in a minute. We're going to check and see how the pizza is coming along. Um, if you are familiar with the pit barrel, you know that these tubes here usually have rebar. And actually, you can see them over there, maybe. And, but for my pizza, I kind of have this ventilation open higher. I take away the rebar, and then I usually have a crack. So I'm getting up to four to 500 degrees. And as you can see, the pizza is coming along quite good. Now it's not done just yet. Actually, I think I want that to get a little bit more brown. Uh, I'm in the light here. <laughs> I'm outside in the dark, but uh, I want that to get a little bit more brown and then I should be good. So by me cracking this gives it more airflow, which keeps the coals hotter, which keeps the pit barrel in itself hotter. Um, but I do love my pit bear rolls. I have, uh, they very come in handy and they're very versatile. And of course, like everything I do talk about, there will be a link in the description to, below um, to their website. All right, until these come off. All right, well, here's the first one. This is the spinach, pepper, and chicken pizza. Uh, my family is hungry, it is a little bit late, so I'm gonna cut this one so we can start to eat this one. And I will show you later on in the video the picture of the pepperoni that I just put on the pit barrel. So, the um, process was pretty good. Uh, give you a little bit more detail in a little bit, but let me uh, get some grumbling tummies. <laughs> A little reward. All right, see you in a second. All right, now here is the second one, the pepperoni pizza. So we have, as you can see, uh, we tore into this one already. <laughs> and then here is the second one here. Now, uh, oh, first off, you love the boards? Check out Matt Cutting Boards, and I will have his description, uh, his website in the description below. Um, the difference for this one from when I use a regular flour is amazing. Um, if you can get bread flour, get bread flour. It is amazing. Uh, ran the pit barrel here about, like I said, between 450 and 500 degrees. Uh, it took about maybe 20, 25 minutes um, to get to where I wanted it to. I could have got this just a little bit more darker, but it's done, the crust is there. It was time to take it off. So. It's not that hard of a cook. When you make the bread, it takes about 10, 15 minutes. 
to make the dough. Let it sit for half an hour to 45 minutes for it to get doubled size. Put it out, make your toppings, and you can make your toppings anything you want, obviously. So, if you like any of the content that I put out, please subscribe, please share. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can check me out. All my social media handles are down here. And if there's something that you think that I should put on the grill, let me know and we can do that. But until the next time we put something on the grill, take care.